I was working a jukebox repair, and we have jukeboxes made in the 50s. Parts were on them for the buttons, they would break, where do you get them? Where do you get the little frames? So there was a shop we found that had a little 3D printer, and we made parts that way. And that's the same story now, just for Mel, the parts are a lot bigger. Mel does a 3D metal printing. It's a new way to build some large metallic parts that was not possible in the past. This is a large scale, solid state metal additive process. So large scale uh, means we're printing parts, you know, typically a meter scale or larger. Um, so that starts to reset the frame as to what kind of parts we're talking about. They're not parts you hold in your hand. Um, they're parts that, you know, make your machines, your ships, your, your tanks, your vehicles, whatever they may be. Solid state essentially means the metal is processed, deposited in the parts made all below the melting point of that metal. We can process these metals that are problematic or impossible with a melt-based process. We were trying to go from making a couple machines to making a whole lot of machines. We made the decision to go to Beckoff. When you pick a platform, it's a major commitment and you want to make sure you're not going to have to change in five years because you made the wrong decision. I don't feel constrained for the future. Some of our team spends most of their day doing things that nobody's ever done before. And so being able to log in with that researcher halfway around the world and work with them alongside them, I think that's empowered and enabled by the Beckoff system. I appreciate the support from Beckoff. I just email and call him because very flexible in that way to help me solve my problems. I came to Mel because I saw it as a chance to, to change the way things are manufactured. Right? When we started, it was convincing people this was a good idea. And now you go to conferences and you meet people who have graduate degrees in this technology we invented 15 years ago. Mel will be a topic of discussion in manufacturing classes, and it'll be the way parts are made from here moving forward. We're at that cutting edge of 3D printing. Some of the programs we have running behind me uh, are to produce materials that didn't exist 18 months ago. The idea that you could contribute to that uh, opportunity uh, was too good. And I think you got a building full of people who have a similar belief. Uh, it's pretty cool.